Again, welcome to CS101, Introduction to Programming Using Python. This lab will cover chapter three of our course textbook, which is Decision Structures and Boolean Logic. In this lab work, we are going to solve one problem using, again, decision control structures. So our question here said the month of February normally has 28 days, but if it is a leap year, then February has 29 days. Now here they say we should write a program that asks the user to enter a year. The program should then display the number of days in February that year. Now we know if it's a leap year, then the number of days for February is 29. If it's not a leap year, then it's 28. Now they say we should use the following criteria. So for example, determine whether the year is divisible by 100. If it is divisible by 100, we also have to check if it's divisible by 400. So the year the user enter, if it's divisible by 100 and also divisible by 400, then it's a leap year. But if it's not divisible by 100, then we are going to check if it's divisible by four. So here we say if the leap year is not divisible by 100, but if it's divisible by four, then it's a leap year. So if it's not divisible by four, then it's not a leap year. Also the first option, if it's divisible by 100, but it's not divisible by 400, then it's not a leap year also. So example here, if a user enter 2008, it's divisible by four, so it's a leap year. But if the user enter 2009, it's not divisible by 100, and also it's not divisible by four, so it's not a leap year. 2008 is not divisible by 100, but it's divisible by four, so it's a leap year. So here, this program determine the number of days in February for a particular year. So we use the print function to ask the user to enter the year. Then we use the input function to get the input from the keyboard. Then we convert it to int. Now, when we use the input function to get an input, the data type is a string. So we convert it to int and we store it in the year variable. Now, the reason why we convert it to int because we are going to use arithmetic operation, the mod loss or remainder operator. So here we check if the year mod loss 100 equal to zero, and also the year modulus 400 equal to zero, then it's a leap year. So we assign true to a leap year. Else it's false, it's not a leap year. So we assign false to leap year. That is if it's divisible by 100, but it's not divisible by 400, then it's not a leap year. Now, if it's not divisible by 100, but it's divisible by four, it's a leap year else it's not a leap year. Now, since a leap year variable may have either true or false content, we can use the condition here saying, if leap year, if it's true, then we're going to print that is leap year, February has 29 days. Now, if leap year is false, then we are going to print the else section, which will say, this is not a leap year, February has 28 days. So in this program, again, we use the selection uh, control structure or the decision control structure, which is the if else to solve this problem. So again, see you in the next uh, lab work. Thank you.